hairstyle from Maleficent. Okay, to begin this hairstyle, I'm going to be making some curls in her hair. And before I do that, I am going to be spraying it down with some heat protectant. And now I'm going to take her hair and basically split it in half and put the top half out of the way. The curls that Aurora was wearing in this hairstyle were actually pretty loose. They were more like waves. And so I'm going to be using a curling wand to try to recreate that look. The wand that I'm using is made by Numi and it's called a reverse wand. And as you can see, it is skinnier here at the bottom and then it gets larger at the top so that most of the curl is going to be at the top of her head. So I'm going to grab a small strand of her hair and then I'm going to wrap it starting at the bottom of the wand. I'm holding it upside down and then wrapping towards the top. And I'm just going to hold this on here for a few seconds. And as you can see, that just creates a nice wave. Now that I'm over to the other side of her head, I'm going to be making these curls the opposite way. So I'm always curling away from her face. So I'm just going to keep working my way up her head and I'm going to be taking about one inch sections each time. I've curled all of her hair except for this very top layer and before I curl this section I'm just going to make sure that I have parted it down the center so that I don't have to repart it after the curls are in. Alright, here is what her hair looks like all curled and now we're going to make the hairstyle. I'm going to be grabbing a small section of hair here by her face and I'm making sure that I'm only grabbing the top section and not the hair underneath. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just grabbing that top section of hair. Now that I have these sections parted out, I'm going to have my daughter hold the one side while I take this other side and twist it up slightly. You don't want a really tight twist, but just nice and loose. And then I'm going to trade her while I twist the other side. Now that I have those both twisted, I'm just going to take them and join them here in the back with a clear elastic. Now I'm going to grab this hair that is directly under the twist next to her face and I'm going to twist it up slightly and wrap it around this hair that we brought into the ponytail. So I'm just lifting this up and twisting it right over the top and through. And there really is no exact science to this. You just want to twist it as many times as you think looks nice. And then I'm going to go back through and loosen the twist up just a little bit. And then to keep this hair in place, I'm going to add a couple of bobby pins. This will just help kind of position things where you want it to stay. And then here in the middle where this elastic is, I'm going to try to cover that up and pin it into place as well, just so that you don't see the elastic. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing here on the other side. I'm grabbing the hair right above her ear and I'm going to twist it up and twist it around the hair coming into the ponytail. Now we're going to add some flowers to this hairstyle. We found these at our local craft store and you can find them pretty much anywhere. I'm just going to take my scissors and trim about an inch into that stem so that we have an inch to work with. And then I'm going to stick this right into the style where I want it and I'm going to bobby pin it into place. To pin this, I'm going to bring the bobby pin in horizontally so that it is going right over the stem and you want to be sure to grab a little bit of hair along with the stem as you're pushing this in so that it stays secure. I'm just kind of placing these randomly. There is no rhyme or reason to this. All right, here is the completed hairstyle. I love how simple and elegant this one is. It's very beautiful. Thanks for watching Princess Hairstyles in Disney Style. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.